Not yet, but congratulations. You've just beaten uh, Koiteke on 2-0. But the second game got very close. Uh, tell us about that one and what was going through your mind. Yeah, that was a very nervous game. Uh, I got quickly into trouble. Um, like I had uh, many good moves after the opening, but I hesitated to take this exchange, which, uh, um, which I think it was good for White to just take it and to go for the end game with just exchange up but some compensation for black. Uh, but I decided to um, to keep the two bishops, and that was a bad decision, for sure. And then I got, uh, and then he found, when he found this knight d3, uh, yeah, it was just terrible end game. And uh, I, I just, I'm just happy to, to manage to hold on. Let's talk very quickly about the opening choice in game two. You played uh, Dialepin. As some people here were surprised that maybe you're playing too much um, for the draw, let's say. In hindsight, if you could go back, would you repeat Dialepin or play something else? Um, no, I think I would, I would play Dialepin. Because um, I got a um, good position out of the opening, but uh, then I made some uh, dubious decisions middle game. Tomorrow you will be playing uh, Parham for a chance to fight your way back in the, the upper bracket. Uh, what's your experience of playing against him and your thoughts on tomorrow's match? Well, we have played many games in, uh, recently, like many, um, even online, like R R Blitz and Rapid. So with mixed results and uh, yeah, I'm expecting it to be one of this kind of very interesting match. <coughs> Uh, let's talk about something else. Speaking of the match, today was the opening ceremony of uh, Deng Liren against uh, Nepom Nishi. If you could be a, a second for one of the two players, uh, which team would you choose? Um, I have no experience uh, working or talking with uh, Chinese players, so so yeah, this would be a, a bit unusual. But I, I think I would uh, choose uh, Jan's uh, team. Do you have any words of advice? If you could give one piece of advice to both of them, what it, would it be? Um, just uh, to, to focus on the game because there will be a lot of tension and a lot of pressure during the match. Mm -hmm. So just to be, uh, to be prepared for it. Very nice. Let's talk about you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what hobbies you have outside of chess? Uh, I like reading books. Um, I like especially uh, um, some storybooks. Um, yeah, and uh, watching movies, of course. You are still only 18 years old. If I told you today you have to give up chess forever and do something else, what do you think you would like to do, if not chess? Um, I think I would be uh, a football player. So yeah, I am very rich. Um, a big fan of football, and uh, I, I watch a lot of uh, games. Very nice. And uh, let's talk about, in this tournament, the first event, Eric Hansen said he would like to listen to some techno during the games. If you had to listen to music during the match, what kind of music would you choose? Um, of course, some, some action uh, music to, to be uh, in shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite song? Or if you had, you know, like a walk-on song, do you have something you would choose? Um, uh, yeah, there is a lot of good music, good songs. Um, um, I think uh, some of the weekend songs is very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Even more random, what is your favorite drink? Um, cola. cola. And favorite animal? Lion. <laughs> Same answer as your opponent, very interesting. <laughs> Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I hear it, but uh, you know, it's, it's, I think it's natural, yeah? yeah it's a great animal. <laughs> and finally, who is your best friend? You probably also heard, you heard all the questions, yeah? yeah. Who is your best friend in the chess world? Okay, I have many good friends, and uh, if I would pick, then I would go with um, um, probably from my teammates from national team. Like, uh, not like I, I don't want to specialize, but I think from my national team. 
Actually, just a final follow-up question, since uh, you guys won the Olympiad last year, uh, which was such an incredible achievement. Um, was that the highlight of your chess career so far, would you say? Um, yes, uh, I would say, of course, it was uh, one of the best moments in my career so far, and uh, I really uh, enjoyed that moment. And of course, I'm silly because I forgot you were, of course, also a world champion. So <laughs> a lot of highlights already. Thanks for not reminding me. And Nodebeck, thank you so much and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you.